Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Football Manager 2024 as we continue our Road to Glory run with Farsley Celtic in the Championship. And uh, things have still not been going super great. Uh, we've lost quite a few more games, as you would probably expect. Barely, barely, barely outside of relegation zone at the moment, although that could change at any point. Uh, we have just finished the January transfer window. I went ahead and just got through all the way through January just because there was nothing to show you guys. Uh, but now that we've completed the January transfer window, we'll take a look at those players and see if we can get just enough to avoid relegation. But let's get right into it. All right, here we are. As you can see, last game you guys saw was the Norwich loss. Uh, we went up against Luton, lost to them 2-1. to one. Went up against Coventry, lost to them 2-1. to one. Lost against Swansea 4 nothing. Lost against Tottenham 4-1. to one. Although we did get like 1.5 million pounds for that game or something like that from tickets. Uh, we did beat Cardiff. Uh, we did finally switch to or back to our 4-2-4 that we basically went through league one and league two and all that stuff with um beat them two to one which i was like okay cool switch of formations we got a victory awesome and then we lost against ipswich and then we lost against preston uh although in bad bennett did get a pair of goals in this game against preston which you know was good to see so uh we did just play a friendly um which we only won by one goal against a team i've never heard of so that's not great um but i don't think we're playing a lot of our starters so there's that uh <laughs> I mean, we are so incredibly outclassed in this league. We go to the team detailed because they showed this right as the end of the transfer window. Salaries. We are laughably low. I mean, Bolton has almost double what we've got. And then the next highest above them is double that. So we are one quarter almost of what Wigan and Reading and some of these other teams are. We are just laughably low compared to all the rest of the teams. So... We're definitely out of our depth, out of our league here. Um, holding on to relegation or avoid relegation would be a bit of a miracle here. We actually got less points than games played, which is not a very good number, although there are several teams below us at the moment. Uh, we did get a lot of transfers done. Some of them are hits, some of them are misses. Or I say some of them are hits and some are misses. We don't know if they're for sure they're the hits. Some of them look pretty good. Some of them look pretty bad. Um... Who knows who are going to be the actual hits, who are going to be the actual misses. We do have two players that we're not actually going to get till July. Those are some that my director of football put up. I was like, you know what, whatever. We'll say yes. Uh, and that should be coming in in July. You know, we'll see what they look like. But let's go take a look at our transfers. Uh, and these are the two players that are coming in July. We've got Iggy Hoban here. Um, could be our best attacking midfielder on the right-hand side. We'll see. Again, joins in July. And then we got De Stefano um, from here, from uh, Italy. Uh, we don't really know much about him. But again, director of football suggested him. Uh, he can play all across the attacking front. We'll see what he can do. If he's a flop, he's a flop. No big deal. I mean, he didn't cost us anything up front, obviously. Um, try to get a work permit for this guy, apparently. I have no idea. I don't. This must be another one my director of football is doing because I've never seen this guy before. But if we go look at the transfer history, uh, and we go look at the ones coming in in January, as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine coming in in January. Uh, we did lose two players. Uh, we lost Luca Davis. Um, who went out, he wanted to leave. We, we sold him for like 40,000 pounds or whatever. It was whatever. Uh, he wasn't really playing for us. It's fine. It is what it is. Uh, and then Mateus Augusto, uh, Fulham came in for his minimum release clause, unfortunately, 300k. So we did lose him as well. Uh, and now he's worth 11 million pounds. Yay. Of course he is. Uh, <laughs> that sounds about right. But of course we couldn't, re you know, change his minimum release clause because he didn't want to. So it is what it is. We lost him. It's fine. A life goes on. Uh, but the players we brought in, first up, we brought in Charlie McNeil here, a 26-year-old Irish striker, could also play on the right side technically, and could play as attacking midfielder if we decide to put that slot in there in the middle. Three-star current ability, three-star potential. I mean, he's just six-foot-tall player that just kind of exists. I mean, again, I was kind of just throwing stuff at the wall and see what stuck. So we were just kind of grabbing whoever we could that was free and that wasn't going to cost us a lot. Um, he has played in the championship several times for Reading. Uh, he played decently well for Bristol Rovers. So until we until we got him in here, so we'll see what he can do. He didn't play especially great for Reading, but never know. We'll see what he can do. He's a he's a player. He exists. He knows how to tie a shoe. Uh, we then brought in Brandon Thomas Asante. Uh, he can play uh, probably going to be prim primarily on that attacking midfielder on the left hand slide, but he can play a striker. He can play on the right. He can play also play attacking midfielder in the middle. So if we do want to fill in that spot, we have that option. Technically, he knows about defensive midfield. Thirty one years old. Uh, again, three-star player, not much to write home about here. Uh, he played pretty decently for Northampton in league one, although he has played pretty poorly for the three appearances he's played for us. 
so far. So take that for what you will. Uh, Jerry Yates comes in here. Again, another player. We've got a lot of attacking players. That's just what we had available. Uh, striker up front. Can play on the left, can play on the right, but probably going to be primarily a striker. 33 years of age. Uh, could be our best striker right now. Three and a half star uh, player. Uh, he's played really well for Blackville. He's played really well for Swansea in the championship, so we know he can play. Uh, we'll see if he can play well for us as well. Uh, again, all these guys were free, so... Uh, next up comes in Will Fish, uh, defensive midfielder, or not defensive, no, defensive center back. He can play defensive midfielder technically. We could probably train him there, but he's going to be basically a center back. Three star player, 26 years of age. Nothing really to write home about. He comes in here from Cardiff. He knew how to tie his shoe. That's about all I can say. <laughs> Again, we're just trying to get players to see if anything we get will make a difference. And not saying we got great players. Robbie Gotts comes in here. Uh, the big reason we brought Robbie Gotts in here is because he can play all over the place. So he's not an amazing player, but he gives us some flexibility, some depth. If he plays, he plays. If he doesn't, he doesn't. I'm not too worried about him. But he played for Barrow, played pretty well for Barrow in League 2. So, I mean, granted, this is two levels above. Maybe he won't ever play for us. Uh, but again, another player that was free. Edwin Martinez comes in here. Colombian right winger, or right back, I should say. Um, This one was one of the misses because the scouts had him at like a three-star player with like four, four-star ability, uh, potential ability or something like that. Obviously, he is not that, at least not based on what we're seeing here. He was probably a flop. It's all right. Again, free player. If he never plays for us, we sell him on. No, no harm, no foul. It is what it is. Um, Matko, I think, is one of the potential wins. Matko comes in here as a three-and-a-half-star uh, current ability potential player. Um, he can play kind of all over the place up here up front, but most likely he's going to be playing on that right-hand side. He does come in here as our best attacking midfielder on the right-hand side. Uh, and he comes in here from uh, Slovenia, where he's played decently well. So we'll see what he can do here. He looks like a halfway decent player. Uh, Matthew Whittingham, uh, like him, because he can play up and down the left-hand side, but he can also play midfield, and he can technically you know, pinch hit for the right-hand side, I think, if we absolutely needed him to. Uh, Three-and-a-half Stark ability player, 25 years of age. Just gives us a bunch of players that are in the mid to late 20s that are going to give us some experience just to try to avoid relegation. We don't even really care if these guys stick around forever. Maybe we do like them, maybe we don't. Mostly, we just need players who can help our youngsters out a little bit and try to help us avoid relegation. Uh, he comes in here from Cheltenham in League 2, where he's played pretty well. But again, this is two levels up. We'll see what he can do. And then finally, we just got this guy, Nana uh, Awusu, who uh, I think looks like a pretty good pickup. Uh, this is, again, a potential another win. 18-year-old player who's got 30-star current ability and could be 5-star potential ability. He looks like a pretty decent player. Um, not great finishing, but good first touch, decent dribbling. Uh, you know, short. Physicals are eh, okay. He's got decent technique, though. And some of his mentals are not bad. Again, 18 years old, so some of this will develop up as he goes. Uh, could play tag midfielder. Maybe we need to start doing that. Could play midfielder. We shall see. So if our current formation doesn't work, I might... Uh, experiment with an attacking midfielder formation. Um, yeah, for now, that is it. So if we go to our squad planner, we got, I mean, there's stuff all over the place, right? We, we just have guys all over the place. Obviously, goalkeeper is a Conquo, although McGinty can play there as well if we need him to. Uh, Billows, Whittingham, Taylor, Chuck, Wim on the right, left, McDonald, Billows, Munns, Marshall on the right, and we got plenty of guys there, plenty of guys in the central, mid, uh, de uh, central defensive role. Uh, defensive midfielders, plenty of guys that can play there. Uh, attack midfielder on the left. We got some good guys there that could look like they could be okay. Matko on the right. Uh, strikers, you know, Owusu. For all, for according to this, could be our best striker right now. We shall find out. So, we've got players. We got players coming out of our ears. We just got to find the right combination of players that can get us results. So, let's see if we can get any results today. Uh, here's the team we got uh, today. We got a Conquo and Go. Chukwum on the left. Billows on the right. Lloyd and Taylor in the middle. Montgomery and Munns ahead of them. Nafanku on the left wing. Matko coming in on that right wing with Thomas Asante and Bennett up front. Uh, we do have Fish on the bench. We have Whittingham on the bench. Um, Kenyon came back from loan, so he's on the bench now. So we got a few guys on the bench that we can come in. I uh, don't have Awusu currently in here, but he's currently tired. Um, so we shall see. So let's go ahead and see if we get any sort of result today against uh, Barnsley here. I don't know, guys. This is... This is we just got to survive. Just get a few more wins. A couple more draws, maybe. Just survive. I mean, Barnsley is last place. So this is obviously a game that we need to win. We're at home against the last place team in the league. 
we really need to win this game. So this is more than a pointable game. This is a, a winnable game. It almost a must win. There's a throw in coming in from Billows. Billows gets it in. Nobody's there, at least not from our team. Nafanko picks that one back up, though. He's going to make a good move. He's going to push it towards the goal. I mean, it was on target. Not a very strong shot. Maybe he should have centered it, done something. I don't know. There's a Conquo with the go. Kick. Uh, Bennett's in the area. Able to flick it forward to Asante. Asante's just him and the goalkeeper. What a goal from Asante. Please tell me that was not offsides. Looks good. Wow, that was a great goal. Great flick on uh, header from Bennett. And an incredible, incredible goal from Asante. And that's what we want guys like Asante to in here doing. Bringing some experience. You know, they're older players. They got that experience. Just come in here and just get us get us a few goals. We don't need a lot from you. You might not even stick around forever. Just get us a few goals to help fully get us a few wins, a few points, whatever, and help us survive. Who knows? Maybe they will be good enough to stick around for, you know, another year or two. I mean, Asante, you know, he's, what, 31 years of age? Yeah, if we got another year or two out of him, I wouldn't cry about that. That'd be awesome. But if we don't, then no harm, no foul. All right, well, we're looking really good. I'm happy with this. I mean, granted, it is against the last place team in the league, but we got to take what we can get, right? So this at least puts us, if we can hold on to this, puts our points back above uh, higher than the number of games played, so... That is a good number to be. Taylor with the ball here. Over to Munz. Munz. All the way back to Okonkwo. Back up to Taylor. Come on, guys. Munz with the ball. Gets it up. Um, it's a little too too hard. I'll say Bennett's not going to be able to get to that one, unfortunately. Okay. It's a very strange highlight. Shakuma is in the area. Uh, Lloyd picking that one. Good job. Taylor with the ball now. Come on, Taylor. Gets it over to Bill is on the right-hand side. He gets it up. Bennett's in the area. Can Bennett pick it up? He can. Can he center it to Asante? He can. And Asante gets his second goal of the season. Second assist from Bennett. This is, uh, <clears throat> this is what we need to see. This is what we need to see. Again, I know it's Barnsley. But if we look really good against Barnsley, maybe we'll look okay against some of the other teams. You know what I mean? No, this is awesome. In it with the ball on this right-hand side. It's a cross. Oh, I thought we were going to get his third. A hat trick there from Asante. Does it count as a hat trick for assists? <laughs> a hat, hat assist trick. Uh, Taylor with the ball, though. Back over to Lloyd. Lloyd up to Montgomery. Come on, guys. We're doing really, really well. Let's hold on to this game. Please, 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 please. Munz with the ball. Gets it across to Bills on the right-hand side. Bills gets it back over to Munz. Munz, come on. Gets it up. Nobody's there, but Ben should be able to pick this one back up. He does. He gets it up to Bills. Bills has a couple guys in the middle. Can he get it to one of them? Oh, he's just going to do it all. In. Oh, he's going to get it to Bennett. 12th goal of the season for Bennett. I mean, 12 goals for Bennett in this league. I mean, granted, some of that might have been, uh, you know, Carabao Cup and FA Cup, stuff like that. But 12 goals at this level, it's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'll take that for now. I mean, there's still a chance that he can get it to 20 goals for all we know. So we're very happy with that from ben Bennett. He's been, he was very quiet for a long time. He's finally woken up a little bit lately. And that has been a huge, huge thing for us so far. Uh, I'm Bennett's on a 10.0 right now. Um, let's get Munz out on his yellow. Or just kidding, because we apparently don't have anybody on the bench that can play defensive midfield. Uh, I guess we'll bring in either Lloyd or Taylor or Billows. We got McDonald can come in. So let's bring Billows up in place for Munz. And we'll bring in McDonald there. And who else? Nafanku. Not playing especially well. Do we have anybody coming for you? Yeah, we got Winningham. Or Peters. Uh, many, 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 I'd rather get... I mean, I don't want to see what Winningham do, but I'd rather get Peters the uh, game time. So we'll bring Peters in, and that'll be good for now. Right, 
70 minute mark. Uh, we got Chakuma. Not played amazing, so I'll bring him out. We can bring Wingham in that spot. That sounds good. And then... Honestly, I think we hold off. I think we're good with everybody else at the moment. Let's hold off for a little bit. We'll do a couple subs at the 80 minute mark, maybe. I mean, it's the far as they slow stick that we all know and love, but again, <laughs> it's a team that's basically in the league below us <laughs> at this point. Uh, Peters, UK. Okay. Uh, Montgomery and Billows both are very tired. Again, we don't really have anybody that can play those spots unless we move Lloyd up to one of them. So let's move Lloyd up to put him in Montgomery spot, and then we'll bring in a uh, Kenyon. I'd like to see what Kenyon can do. Or Fish. Yeah, we'll bring Fish in. That's fine. And one more sub. I mean, ten, ten, ten minutes on a, let's bring Tip Bennett out on a 10.0 and bring in McNeil. And we'll go with that. Let Bennett res preserve his 10.0, hopefully. All right, there's Peters with the ball. Gets it up to M Matko. Matko almost gives it away. Thankfully, Lloyd's there winning him with the ball on that left-hand side. Just kind of gives that one away, though. That one definitely, he gave it away. We're going to be able to get it back. Fish picks it up. Gets it up to Winningham. Peters now with the ball. Back to Fish. Come on, guys. Over to Taylor. Taylor makes it up to McDonald. McDonald makes a decent move. He's got a couple options in the middle. There's McNeil. First goal for Charlie McNeil. Great, great job, guys. And he does a little jig. We got a lot of strikers now. I'm glad to see a few of them uh, scoring. So this is awesome. <laughs> solid game. I mean, yeah, again, I know the team we're playing against. Ridiculously solid game, though. Go for us. Our counting is an own goal, but we definitely were cr uh, pivotal into making that happen. Lloyd was. We'll be happy with that. All right. Good stuff. That is, I mean, hopefully that lifts some guys' spirits. It helps the locker room atmosphere a little bit and sets us up for uh, some of the rest of the season because it is not going to be easy. We got Sheffield United 13th. I mean, I think that's a pointable game. Again, use that instead of winnable game because uh, I think we... Uh, we get the one point from that game you know it's a good team but it's a home game so hopefully we can get if we can get a point there that'll be a pretty good thing so we'll be right back for a game number two all right we're back for a game here against Sheffield United uh a couple changes not not too many we got a Conquil and go Chakwim on the left McDonald on the right Lloyd and Taylor ahead of them Billows and Munz ahead of them uh with Nafanku on the left ring Matt goes back on the right Asante's still back in here uh I mean you'd think we'd bring in Bennett on his 10.0 but We'll give him a little bit of a rest here today because I'd like to see what a Wusu can do. Obviously, Bennett is on the bench to bring in at a moment's notice. So, let's go. Would love to see a Wusu, like, just tear this thing up. This would be incredible. We just got, like, the guy that's going to take us into the Premier League just now at the very last possible transfer before the end of the transfer window. That would be awesome. There is uh, Bellows with the ball. Gets it across. Taylor, I think, was in the area. Nafanka's going to be able to pick that one up. Gets it back across to Taylor. Munns with the ball. All the way back to McConquo. That is interesting. Lloyd up to Bellows. Bellows gets it up to Asante. Asante gets it over to Nafanku. Uh, over the bar. Come on, guys. Home game. This is pointable. Just get a draw. Get a draw. Oh, come on, guys. Uh, corner kick. Okay, let's go. Come on. Let's defend. 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 Corner kick. 
Corner kick comes in. McDonald's there. Not able to get too far, though. Come on, I don't like the highlight. Continuing. Stop, highlight. Oh, Asante trying, trying some stuff. Not able to do much there. Lloyd heads that one out. It is going to be out for a throw in. Unfortunately, okay, I was going to say I thought the highlights continue, but it is not. We are going to get another corner kick, though, highlight right away. How did that go in? Wow. Wow. That's just garbage. Okay, guys. We got to get that one back. Here's a throw in from Chakuma. Sante with the ball. Gets it back over to Billis. Billis to get up to Nafanku. Come on, guys. Chakuma. Oh, I thought that was actually going in. Chakuma picks it back up. Nafanku with the ball. He gets it across. There's Matko. Matko needs to go to recover from the one he just gave up. Munz with the ball on his right-hand side. Up to McDonald. Back to Munz. Munz uh, just going to give it away. Or let it go out of bounds. Apparently, that was all that highlight was. Yay. That was an amazing highlight. Uh, Matko with the corner kick here. It's short over to Owusu. Owusu over to Nafanku. We haven't really seen Owusu do much. But Nafanku picking up a goal. That is awesome. Getting that one back. Good to see Owusu getting an assist here, at least. That'll help his uh, overall happiness. I love that they had a goal with zero shots on target. <laughs> That's awesome. Love own goals. It's so funny. Uh, all right, come on, guys. We, we can we can still do something here. I mean, the draw. I, I'm going to be happy with the draw for the most part, other than it wasn't a goal. But we'll be happy with the draw. No, don't give him this. Oh, we got lucky. Um, but. It's not impossible for us to get this win, guys. We we know we can. Throw one coming in from McDonald. In to Matko. Back to McDonald. Over to Munz. We have a couple yellow cards already. Taylor with the ball now. Gets it up to McDonald. Come on, guys. McDonald. Sloppy pass. Sloppy, sloppy pass. Taylor. Sloppy, sloppy defense. And we just gave up a goal. Very sloppy play to give that one up. That's that's can't be doing that, guys. I think at this point we're gonna be lucky to get a two-two draw. That's that's we've given up two very stupid goals to them. Okay, well that was not a stupid goal. At least that one they earned. All right. Well, looks like it's gonna be another loss, but. I think we had a chance. Definitely going to be under the loss. It's going to be one of those games where they just get goals galore for no reason. I mean, statistically, we're not getting blown out of the water. So the fact that they're up by three is. We're going to have to overlook that a little bit. Corner kick coming in from Matko. Gets it back over to Owusu. We scored from our last one like this. Back up to Matko. Matko. Does get a goal. Gets one back after some terrible, terrible play early. Good job, Matko. Good job. Might be too little too late, but... You know, every little bit's going to help, right? All right, let's do some subs. Um, I mean, even with that, Mako, uh, he is motivated. He just got to, got to go. I think we're going to bring McDonald out on his yellow. We'll see what Martinez can do. Why not? I mean, he exists. We might as well. Um, and I think if we have somebody come from Munz, we just don't really, do we? 
Uh, we'll have to move Lloyd up to one spot and bring in... We'll bring in Fish. I guess we didn't really see much of him to get enough of a rating last time. All right, Mako, you are tired, so we're actually going to bring you up. We'll bring Talbot in. I need to put some defensive midfielders on the bitch, apparently. <laughs> um, yeah, Conko's on a 6.2. That's so sad. Asante's actually not played very well, so we'll bring in... We'll bring in Bennett. We'll bring in Bennett. The nod here. Put him on that right-hand side. I don't know why he just played really well that over there. Before... Come on, guys. Oh, that was so close. That was so close. I mean, if we got... I doubt we will, but if we got something back here in the next eight minutes, it's not impossible to draw this up before the end of the game. Can't see it happening, but... Especially with the way Chef United's moving the ball. I gave that one away. There's Billows with the ball. He's going to get it up. Bennett's going to get past the defense. Can he get a goal? Oh, buddy, you got to get that one down. We need that one so badly. That would have been the most incredible goal ever. Not really, but it would have been pretty awesome. Oh, come on, guys. Cheer up. All right, last sub. Um, I mean, we'll bring Peters in for Nafanka because he's tired. Oh, well. I mean, we didn't we didn't play as bad as a 4-2 loss. We'll take that to the bank. But, you know, it is what it is. I think we're going to feel like we deserved a draw. But, you know, just gave it away. Say a goal here will be pretty sad, which we did get the goal here. Wow. I mean, at least it look, at least it makes the game look as not bad as it should have not been. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like we should not have been losing by two goals, and we didn't. So, but too little, too late, guys. Too little, too late. Man, if Ben had gotten that goal, we got that draw. It'd be pretty awesome. But I think we looked okay in that game. We got it. We got to kind of kind of let it slide a little bit sometimes. I mean. Not be too mad with at the boys. <sighs> yeah, we hung in there, and I wish we played well. So we're happy with the way, way he's looking so far. I mean, it's one game, but we're happy with that. Let me go ahead and make sure I'm resting the boys, and then we'll call the episode there. Uh, we'll rest for two days. Uh, yeah, I don't know when I'm bringing you guys back. I mean, obviously, I'd like to show a little bit more. So probably somewhere down here, Bournemouth, Reading, West Brom, something like that. Um, hopefully, we're still trying to get. You know, out of relegation, really, really would love to survive just at least one season, so we can hopefully fix this number over here and see what kind of we, what we can do with some real finances. We'll see. But anyway, I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.